grass is a significant problem to UK agriculture and farmers in the UK. Black grass is a highly virulent weed that outcompetes cereal crops for space and light. It's become resistant to most um, herbicides in the UK. The only thing that will actually kill it is glyphosate. My name is Rob Meadley. I'm a farmer at um, near, near Driffield in East Yorkshire on our arable farm of 600 acres, growing uh, mainly mainly cereal crops. In terms of the impact of of blackgrass um, for the farming business, the reduced yield um, will mean less revenue, and the overall societal impact will be if the farmers of East Yorkshire can't grow as much wheat, then. We're not going to have as much food produced and, and the knock-on impacts of that in terms of um, pr production and, and the cost of food in the shops. Blackgrass is costing the UK agricultural sector half a billion pound in gross profit loss per year associated with one million tonnes of wheat. That's equivalent to uh, one and a half billion loaves of bread baked a year and eight billion pints of beer being brewed a year. My name's uh, Andrew Croft and I, I farm here at Otteringham in East Yorkshire with my father and brother. When there's a cost like that to the agriculture, obviously that, that's going to pass on to the consumer at some point. Black grass, when it starts growing, looks very similar to uh, winter wheat, so it's quite difficult to identify. So it's a real threat to food security and to sustainability. And what we wanted to do at the University of Hull is to really shine a light on black grass to look at um, could we find a solution for uh, reducing it, eradicating it, using different disciplines across the university. So some of the work that Hull University did with their, um, their drones and, and spectral cameras was able to identify it in a growing uh, emerging crop at, at very early stages which was quite interesting so we could then hopefully look to target any mitigation or, um, or, or works to, to try and combat the black grass in the early growth stage. The Aura Innovation Centre and funding has enabled us to bring five farmers together as part of this project. The project itself comprised about four or five work packages. The first was to map carbon footprint and cost per hectare of black grass interventions. The second was to apply painted multi-spectral imaging to identify black grass in the field with precision. Third was to look at how black grass grows in conjunction with different variables in the field, so things like soil moisture, geology, geography. And finally, we looked also at what other research and technologies out there to combat black grass, whether to mitigate it or to eradicate it as part of the project so that we can understand where the research is at and where practice is at as well. At the business school we have leveraged our expertise in logistics, supply chain and operations management to look at the carbon emissions and corresponding costs for each of the five farmers in this project. We looked at all the interventions that the farmers made across one year's cycle for wheat. We calculated that this produced an average carbon impact of 118 kilograms of CO2 equivalent per hectare. The purpose and, and our vision for the project is, is to understand black grass better through different scientific lenses and to be able to um, start to develop technology, so not rely as much on chemicals to, to manage black grass. One of the main findings from this stage in the project was that the biggest contribution to carbon emissions was at the pre-emergence stage. That's when the crop is just emerging through the soil and we found that this was because of the number of chemicals that are used by the farmers at this stage. This research is important because the agricultural sector is one of the biggest emitters of carbon globally. 
it's been really great actually to, to bring those farmers together to, to share best practice. It's really helped the farmers as well as part of the project, as well as shining a light on this problem for UK farming and for the sector. The future of our farm, if, if nothing changes with blackgrass, um, would mean uh, we'd have increased costs in terms of um, uh, trying, to, trying to control it. Our yields could be significantly reduced, uh, which would then impact on our revenue. And ultimately, if, if our crops don't yield as much, then there would be less food um, for everybody in the shops. So the next phase of the project is, you know, we want to continue to work with the farmers. They're doing a brilliant job in the UK of managing black grass, but there's much more we can do. We'd like to take the findings from our five case studies in East Riding of Yorkshire and go out and test that on a much bigger scale across the UK um, in the next year or two.